Hello. So here's my Outcast Super Fat Cat float tube. Uh, I've just come in off the water, and as you can see, uh, this isn't going to be one of those unboxing reviews. Uh, this is a I've been pounding it hard for more than a year review. <laughs> uh, bottom line, this is a great float tube, and uh, let me tell you why I think so. Here we are at the uh, Outcast website. I'd just like to go over the specs a little bit. Um, the length and width, it's basically five feet long and uh, four feet wide. Uh, the tube diameter is 13 inches. You can see that gives you a nice big uh, beefy tube with uh, plenty of flotation. Uh, the tube weighs 17 pounds. It's uh, you know not designed for backpacking. It's a heavy duty tube designed for people who uh, spend a lot of time on the water. Uh, the load capacity is 300 pounds. That's probably significantly better than that, but uh, that's what it's rated at. Um, you'll notice that it says three air chambers. Uh, really the main bladder here that's, is one tube. Uh, the other two chambers that they're talking about is the uh, seat back and the, the seat cushion are both uh, separate inflatable bladders and so uh, even if your uh, main bladder should uh, puncture and um, you lose um, that um, the boat's not just gonna sink you know you still have the seat back and the cushion that are uh, full of air and are buoyant and uh, you can hang on to those for support in the water and uh, they would allow you to not lose the boat even if you lost uh, all your air in the bladder. Uh, the bladders themselves are made of urethane. Um, in float tubes the bladders are either urethane or vinyl. Uh, urethane is generally considered to be the uh, tougher and the longer lasting of those two. The fabric denier and material weight, uh, this 420 PC means that it's uh, 420 denier pack cloth. And uh, pack cloth is a nylon canvas that was originally developed uh, for the military uh, for uh, packing parachutes for the for the backpacks that actually hold the chute um, while it's uh, on your back. Uh, obviously, it's a very strong uh, nylon material uh, developed to be uh, uh, durable and uh, lightweight. Uh, the 500 PVC slash 30 ounce. Uh, that refers to the uh, black uh, PVC coated uh, material uh, that's used on the ends of the tubes and uh, all along the bottom and the floor. Uh, 500 denier and then 30 ounce means a uh, square foot of the material weighs 30 ounces and uh, I mean a square yard weighs 30 ounces and that's actually a really nice uh, heavyweight material. Uh, the seam construction welded uh, nylon does melt after all and so they uh, they melt the seams together um, but certain critical seams like uh, this seam right here uh, and the seam along the bottom that joins the floor to the rest of the tube and then the seam that closes off uh, the end here those seams are all reinforced with uh, stitching uh, the valve is a summit 2 valve it's a uh, real common valve used in a, a lot of different float tubes and of course the uh, five-year warranty uh, gives you a good idea that uh, Outcast really does stand behind their products to give you uh, a five-year warranty like that. Some of the main features of the boat are the uh, big uh, pockets for gear storage. Uh, these are smaller pockets on the back end there. Um, the back of the seat has uh, three different pockets in it and then uh, you can't really see it in the picture here but it, along the in, inside of this pocket here uh, these are actually like pouches that you can stuff uh, things into if you want uh, plenty of room to really uh, take whatever you need on the water with you um, there's a nice big floor back here where you can put a five gallon bucket if you want or uh, whatever uh, things you might want to a cooler uh, whatever you want to take with you along on the boat. Uh, it comes with uh, what they call their uh, line control system, uh, which is not really a spreader bar. Um, it's just a tray 
a mesh tray that um, fly fishermen use to hold the line uh, when they're stripping it back and it gives it a place to collect so it's not down in the water. Um, it's not a, a feature that I use at all. I have mine, but uh, frankly, I don't ever use it. Um, as you can see, uh, there's D-rings, plastic D-rings on the uh, sides of the pockets here. And uh, those are handy to attach uh, auxiliary equipment to. Um, I use mine to attach my uh, rod holder and uh, also as a place where I clip on my uh, bump board. Uh, so here are the D-rings that I was talking about. Uh, very handy for attaching my rod holder and uh, various other equipment that you might need. Uh, here's a close-up of the uh, pockets and pouches uh, on the uh, seat back and I use that one to uh, hold the battery pack for my fish finder. Okay, uh, moving around to the side of the boat, um, there's these little pouches there. I use mine to store the uh, backpacking straps. Uh, two big pockets on uh, both sides as you can see there, uh, zipper and velcro. Uh, lots of room to carry uh, plenty of gear with you. My really only complaint about the tube uh, are the pockets are not detachable. Uh, I think it'd be great if you could just uh, pull the packets off and uh, you know take them uh, with you in the house and uh, keep your gear that way separate from the tube. Uh, here you can see I'm on the water. Um, the super fat cat is uh, riding uh, high even though I'm a big guy and I got it fully loaded down with all kinds of gear. All right, so that's my review of the uh, Outcast Super Fat Cat. Like I said at the beginning, I think it's a great tube. Um, I've been using it for more than a year now. You can see it in all my fishing videos. And uh, I think it's uh, perfect for anybody that wants a heavy duty tube and is going to spend some real time on the water. Now let's go catch Whoa, some fish. It was a pretty good one. This is a good fish. There's a fish. That's got to be my best spotty ever. Look at that guy. 